A pleasant day, fellow dog lovers. For today, we will be talking about the top 10 most expensive dog breeds in year 2020. The tenth in our list is the Afghan Hound. The Afghan Hound comes from the mountains of Afghanistan and is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful dogs with their flowing coats and curly tails. They even require daily hair brushing because their long silky coats become tangled very easily. The hounds have an average life of 10-14 to years and their health conditions might cost you some more money. They are predisposed to cataracts and hypothyroidism which can cost up to $3,000 driving the price of this pup even more. The price of an Afghan hound is roughly about $7,000. The Afghan hound. The ninth in our list is the pharaoh hound meaning the rabbit dog. The pharaoh hound is generally used for hunting rabbits in the Maltese Islands. These dogs are highly intelligent as well as athletic and tend to range from 45 to 55 pounds. The breed has an average life expectancy of 11 to 14 years, but it's extremely sensitive to stress. Stress can lead to severe digestive and neurotic issues which can cost more than $1,500 to treat. The positive is their genetic makeup is considered as pure because they are regarded as one of the ancient breeds of dogs. They are loyal hounds that can be trained well for families and larger groups. The average cost of having a pharaoh hound is roughly about $7,500. The pharaoh hound. The eighth in our list is the Dogo Argentina. Originally developed for big game hunting due to its muscular stature, Dogo Argentinos are one of the most expensive dogs in the world. Their muscular body allows the Dogo to hunt wild hogs in South America and Asia mainly. First bred in 1928, the Dogo Argentinos' main ancestors are the extinct Cordoba fighting dog and the Great Dane. Because of their dominant physical traits, it's illegal to own in the UK, Colorado, and New York City. Their life expectancy is 12 to 14 years, but they can suffer from hip dysplasia and deafness, leading to vet bills upwards of $1,600. However, without regular daily exercise, health issues can increase as well as the vet costs. The Dogo Argentino is roughly about $8,000. Dogo Argentino. The seventh in our list is the Canadian Eskimo Dog. The Canadian Eskimo Dog is one of the rarest breeds in the world and is currently facing extinction with less than 300 dogs remaining in 2018. They were brought to North America from Siberia more than 1,000 years ago and had been decreasing recently since the 1960s. Their numbers decrease mainly due to the invention of the snowmobile and the Royal Canadian Mountain Police dog killings of 1950 to 1970. The Canadian police killed up to 20,000 Canadian Eskimo dogs to intentionally disrupt the dog's way of living and the breed has never recovered. The breed is also prone to gastric torsion, entropion where the eyelid folds over itself, heat intolerance and arthritis. 
Canadian Eskimo dogs are also said to be very territorial and often overreact to small disturbances, which is why they are not ideal for families with children. The Canadian Eskimo dog is roughly about $8,750. Canadian Eskimo dog. The sixth in our list is the Rottweiler. This one might surprise some people because Rottweilers are generally more common breed than all the other poppers on this list. Well, they're not crazy expensive to buy. Normally, 1,500 initially, they rack up money in vet bills due to health issues. The breed is extremely susceptible to almost every single disease or condition for dogs, especially hip and joint issues, which is why their pet insurance claims are the highest among any other breed. Rottweiler owners can expect to pay more than $300 annually on their dog insurance and even more for a claim. Their lifespan is also significantly lower than other dogs, at only 8 to 10 years. However, they are considered to be a great family pet because of their loyalty and obedience to their owners. If you want to own a Rottweiler, you might expect to spend around $9,000. The fifth in our list is the Azawak. As one of the newest breeds in 2019, the Azawak is also one of the most expensive. Hailing from West Africa, they were mainly used as hunting dogs and are distinct relatives to the Middle Eastern and South Indian hounds. The breed is scarce in North America but is gaining popularity after being recognized by the AKC in early 2019. Being hunting dogs, Azawaks quickly recover from injuries and have few hereditary conditions. They only suffer from epilepsy or wobbler disease. Azawaks average lifespan is 12 to 15 years with high quality dog food and daily walks or runs. They only exercise in the presence of their owners so they'll keep you in shape too. The average price for an Azawak is about $9,500, the Azawak. The fourth in our list is the Tibetan Mastiff. The massive dog made its way to America from Tibet where it protected sheep from predators like wolves, leopards, and bears. The Mastiff can reach more than 150 pounds for grown males and fends off some of the fiercest animals. While they were initially used as guardians and protectors, they became too expensive for their owners to maintain and they slowly began to vanish. The breed is very alert and will protect your family at all costs. The Tibetan Mastiff are relatively healthy but are prone to hereditary conditions such as hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and eye anomalies. The Tibetan Mastiff is roughly about $10,000. Tibetan Mastiff. The third in our list is the Chow Chow. The Chow Chow originates from northern China and is one of the oldest and rarest breeds in the world. The dog itself is expensive to buy, but the cost to own a Chow Chow don't stop there. You'll rack up the bills for food, treats, vet bills, grooming, and health issues, which can sum up to around $11,000. They require a decent amount of regular exercise, such as four or more walks per day. The breed is also naturally stubborn, which can impact trainability and potentially hinder the relationship between you and your pup. 
Primary health issues of Chow Chows include eyelid entropion, hip and elbow dysplasia, allergies, and thyroid function. The life expectancy is 8 to 12 years but can increase with proper care. You can own a Chow Chow for about $11,000. The second in our list is the Laotian, also known as the Little Lion Dog. The Laotian has been popular among Europeans for more than 500 years as it originated in France. It was once the rarest dog in the globe in 1973 when only 65 were left in the world. Currently, there are only 300 remaining dogs registered each year worldwide. The Laotian is also one of the most outgoing dogs in the world. They are very active and playful which makes them perfect for families and children. With that being said, they need persistent attention of humans and they are unhappy when they are left alone for long periods. Their life expectancy is about 13 to 15 years. To own a Laotian, you must spend around $12,000. And the first in our list is the Samyant. Coming in at the number one overall spot for the most expensive dog in the world is the Samyant, originating from Siberia. The rare breed is known for its kind, loving, and eager-to-please attitude along with their smiling faces. The world's most expensive dog has a strong sense to run away and roam for miles on end, so always make sure they are on leash. They are also brilliant, social, and mischievous dogs that always demand attention, making them perfect for families and children. While the dogs are rare, they do rock up vet bills like no other dog. They are prone to expensive health issues such as corneal dystrophy, autoimmune conditions, and cardiac disorder that can mount to around $5,000. If you want to own a Samyed, you might expect to spend around $14,000. The Samyed. 